Have fun. I get lost. I'll try not to. There's Follow mountain, the power line. There's okay. mountain lions around here, so. Hey, there's not mountain lions. Yeah. There are mountain lions, aren't there? I don't know if they're trolling me or not. Good morning, everybody. Like my shirt. Let us eat plants. Okay, so I'm in LA, and this morning I'm doing a little trail walk in, oh my God, look how many dogs are there. I have a lot of dogs. Hey! Hi! Hello! Hello! Oh my god! Shoot! <laughs> That's okay, no! If anybody follows you, go ahead and take them home. Okay! Wait, do you guys see how many dogs he had? Like, there's like 20 dogs. Now my hands are literally black and I smell like a dog. That's okay. I don't know if that's like a common thing here, but. At home in Australia, I've only ever seen someone walk like five dogs. Now I'm gonna put my camera away and actually try and get a bit of a workout in here somehow and enjoy the view. It's really smoggy today though. You can't really see much. It's really pretty up here though. Sprint till the end! Sam is so cute when she runs. <laughs> We're back home. We're gonna do our ab workout, aren't we? We're just gonna crunch the opposite arm. Okay, and three hours later, Bonnie. Well done. And me being the excellent vlogger that I am, realized that um, my battery wasn't charged. So it died halfway through our awesome ab workout. And I had to charge it for a few hours so that it would be fully charged for the amazing day that lies ahead. I had porridge oats because I ran out of rice flakes and you know what America like doesn't have them so I actually ordered them on Amazon they should be arriving shortly and then I had a shower and got dressed and did my hair all cute and <laughs> now we are going to go out for lunch to gracias man madre I always say mandre it means thank you mother yes thank you. Like I said we're about to head for lunch and then we're gonna go and walk the Hollywood side and we're gonna go around What's that street? Melrose. Melrose and also, what's the fancy one with lots of Rodeo. Rodeo. <laughs> yeah, anyway. So we're heading to lunch with Steph, obviously. <laughs> Tim, who is running late as usual. And we're also going with Mr. and Mrs. Vegan, which are the people that we're staying with. This is Mr. Vegan right here. They also have a YouTube channel, so I'll link it down below so you guys can check it out. They make much cooler videos. They really do. <laughs> they really do. <laughs> yeah, we're also meeting Ravana at the restaurant as well. And that's our crew, isn't it? Yeah. Yeah. I have the best drink here. It is iced horchata. If you don't know what horchata is, I didn't either before I came to America. Wait, what is it? It's rice milk. Rice milk um, with cinnamon and some sort of sweetener. But apparently, it's, it's a very popular drink. Very popular in Mexico? drink. Yes. Yeah. Yes. They always have it at the order. Can, Can I have you say it right? Horchata. Horchata. <laughs> Oh my I cannot do that bowler. 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 I she does. I she's can do it, it, but I can't do it in a word. Or chata. Or chata. You did it. Oh, you're so good. You're, you're Asian. It's really not in your blood. You're too far from. You're too far from Mexico. I'm yeah. way. I'm way too far. Okay. Oh, thank you so much. So Ravana ordered cactus. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Literally. Yeah. Wow, I've never seen anything like that. So what happens is that they yeah. take off the spikes? The spikes. Yes. And then they just wash it really well and then they're boiled in water so yeah. that way they're soft and they're yeah. not that hard. But you can eat it raw too. Yeah, probably all right. You can eat it raw. Wow. I actually have a recipe on it. Really? Oh, yeah. we'll check it out. It was one of my first so videos. so cool. This is uh, chorizo, well, tempeh chorizo. Ooh, what is this? And my guac and my black beans, tomatoes. Oh, yes. Thank you very much. 
my gosh, this ball looks amazing. We just finished our full on photo shoot in the middle of the restaurant. It was great. And. Casual, casual. That's what I mean. Steph's eating clean today. She's got a bit of a sore tummy. I'm on my period. Yeah, just tell her that. So these um, corn tortillas are made fresh here and they're the best. I'm gonna try some cactus. Oh yes, cap, yeah? try it, try it, try it. Try yes, try it. Wait, wait, wait. Okay. Oh, it's, oh, it's sticky. Oh my God. Can I try oh, honey? Yeah, try of course. Yeah, they're gonna try cactus. Everyone, yeah. it's good. Mmm. It's like good? it's like a mixture between okra and a bean. Yeah. Okay. So uh -huh. Green bean. Like crunchy like a green bean. Yes, then it's got like the stickiness of okra. It's really good. John? Yeah. I, what, some, try some trees here. Let me know what you think. Mmm. Mm -hmm. Good? Tastes like chorizo. Wow. Yeah. Okay. I mean, I'm, I haven't. I'm gonna try it too. Say it again. Chorizo. 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 So sexy. I love it. Okay, yeah. Oh my god, please, please. Please, please. You know what I've thought of like every time at the beginning of each video? What? Corn tortilla is so fresh. Yay, we finished lunch and it was. It's good. Really, really good. How would you cast this? So good. I didn't eat it in so long. It was good. Yeah, so I'm really glad we got to try that actually. Now we're gonna go explore the streets of West Hollywood and hopefully find some cool artworks. Maybe take some photos. This place is so beautiful though. Look at that. So pretty. Hey Tim. How's your water? Bye. So good to have lunch with you. I'll see you soon. Bye, bye, bye. I love that girl. Ravana is so cool, isn't she? She's like really down to earth and like really chilled out. Well, if you don't know who Ravana is, you should definitely check her out. Ah! Check her out. She has an awesome YouTube channel and Instagram. I'll link them down below for you guys. Um, yeah, she has heaps of good recipes and stuff, and she's just overall really cool person. It is hot outside. We found this random little cupcake place. Obviously not vegan, but they have good water, so I'm good. I'm good. All right, I have no idea where we're going now. We didn't really plan our travels properly um, and Kristen has the drone and everything else that we needed in the car on the other side of LA so we won't be able to go to the Hollywood side today but that is okay because we'll leave it for another day um, and instead we're going to go we can maybe go to Santa Monica Pier yeah, yeah. good idea we found Kristen hello <laughs> Pretty Woman, the movie, Me don't too. you? This is the hotel of where it was filmed. There it is. I feel like I'm not fancy enough. I feel My like camera I won't even focus. Look at me. <laughs> yeah, you're definitely fancy enough. Rodeo Drive, I think you've been swell. You've been um, swell. think I've probably seen enough of you though, to be honest. On to, better <laughs> on to bigger and better things. En route to Santa Monica Pier. You want to go this chaos way? There's a free concert on tonight, so that's why it is so ridiculously packed here. That's why we're gonna go and go to a back street. They won't see us back there. Let's do it right here.
we picked up the car and we are finally at our final destination dinner. So excited. Last time I came here, I got this burrito bowl and bread. But I've already had Mexican today, so I'll see what else there is. But Mexican is one of my favorite foods. What the hell was that really voice? Oh, oh, look at the light. Oh, is this our place? Yeah. I think you got a Tosada last time. I think I should get a curry and a Tosada. That's what I was thinking. Okay, let's do that. Ew, that's beautiful. Curry? Alright, this is how I'm eating my Tosada. <laughs> yes! Excellent meal. Guys, how did you like your meal? Oh god. A Votre Sante. If you're in LA, you should definitely check it out. It's really, really good. We're back home and um, I just wanted to quickly talk about something because I put up a photo of me and Ravana at Gracias Madres where we went for dinner. For lunch, sorry, where we went for lunch. And yeah, there's a lot of like bag stigma with that restaurant and also Cafe Gratitude. And that's because they were vegan and recently they have stopped being vegan and they actually now, they actually now farm meat and sell it. It's not like connected to the restaurant or the cafe whatsoever, but they now have cattle on their farm. People have gotten really angry about that, which I totally understand because it was vegan all this time and the owners were vegan. A lot of people were commenting on my photo and I kind of thought this might happen, um, saying that, you know, we shouldn't be supporting them and and that they're not vegan anymore and a lot of vegan restaurants aren't owned by 100% vegan people a lot of people see it as a money-making tool so they open plant-based restaurants when they don't necessarily believe it themselves for example veggie grill they also own a steakhouse chain and there's heaps of other places that are exactly the same so does that mean we should boycott veggie grill because you know we're giving their company money to then put into the steakhouse no, of course not. Veggie Grill is an awesome vegan um, chain that is doing wonders for junk food people for junk people that want to eat junk food vegan food we should still support those kind of restaurants because that's bringing more people to a vegan lifestyle and yeah i totally understand why people are angry because they used to be vegan and it sucks that they're not vegan anymore but at the end of the day that restaurant like i saw it today it's like packed absolutely packed it's a weekday they're not vegans in there they're just normal people eating lunch and that is so awesome if that restaurant wasn't there maybe they go down the road to a non-vegan place and they would be eating meat for lunch and i just think that yeah even though the owners aren't vegan and they are you know they are supporting the meat industry in another way i still think that we should be supporting that restaurant and you know by boycotting it then they would they possibly would just close down and i think that would be Therefore, then we would be losing a really great vegan restaurant and therefore the people that go there every single day that aren't vegan would have to go somewhere else and that probably wouldn't be a vegan place. So, yeah, I don't know. What do you guys think? Pretty ridiculous to hold. It's like we like to pick and choose what we're strict about. Mm. And it's like you would have no problem going to like a normal grocery store yes. and buying groceries from a place that sells yes. meat yes. or supports you know companies that sell mm -hmm, meat mm -hmm. but then as soon as you know this vegan restaurant goes from that to what it is now we're like oh we're gonna boycott that even mm -hmm. though that restaurant is serving plant-based foods mm -hmm. to like you said meat eaters mm -hmm. like it just it's like we just like to take it really far in certain very like micro aspects and yeah. it just like it boggles my mind because you just zoom out to the big picture and you're like whoa this restaurant serves bomb ass delicious vegan food mm -hmm. and that is what i'm paying for i'm mm -hmm. not i'm not paying directly to support for the this. other for the other yeah, projects for their other ventures yeah. i'm i'm supporting this yeah. i'm showing them that we want more of this yes exactly and we the world needs more of yes, that so exactly take look at the bigger picture like steph said and think like why are we trying to boycott this like why are we boycotting them but we're not boycotting veggie girl and all these other places that um still support animal products in, an, in a different way am i missing something here guys let me know what do you think about it that's just my thoughts i'm gonna leave um today's vlog there you guys like my hair today what do you think do you think i should rock this more often hope you enjoy the vlog and i'll make i'll be making lots more so let me know what you guys want to see while i'm here in la and i'll see you guys next time bye Mwah.